Hey everyone, here's another landscape drawing and this time it's a forest landscape. I wanted to draw a lot of trees and their branches and everything. I used woodless charcoal pencils for this and the usual uh, tools for erasing and blending. Uh, this is going to be another uh, slightly longer video with some commentary so if you want to see how I drew this forest, keep watching. I'm starting out without a sketch and if you're wondering what I just did there, I dipped my tutilion into some charcoal and I'm going to use the tutilion to start sketching because in the background behind those trees that I just showed you um, there are some mountains or some cliffs so I'm just going to lightly suggest their shape and I also forgot to tape my paper so as you can tell I'm not super prepared for this drawing but I felt inspired to draw to draw trees uh, I like the idea of uh, a drawing where you're kind of looking up at the trees. I'm just going to suggest the shapes of these cliffs. And now <coughs> I'm using a woodless charcoal pencil to start drawing these branches. I'm going to try to make them look kind of gnarly and twisted and as organic looking as possible. I'm going to be using two uh, pencils for drawing this, uh, both woodless charcoal pencils, but one of them will be a medium one, the other one is the soft one. I will usually, usually be using the medium one for drawing branches and things that require a little more uh, precision, where I need cleaner lines, and I'm going to be <coughs> using a softer one for covering larger areas. So as you can see I'm drawing these branches and um, some of them are darker than the others. This is because depending on the light source some of them will be getting more light others less and this helps us create the, the illusion of depth and the illusion that some of them are in front of the others. Later I'll be going in with an eraser to draw some highlights on the branches as well and this will further help me uh, create a more 3D look. I'm also suggesting some texture on this tree trunk but I'm going to be refining that a lot later. You can see that I'm trying to draw these wrinkles on the tree bark, but like I said, right now I'm not really concerned about its appearance too much. I'm mostly interested in laying down some of the basic shapes and drawing these branches because that's what I want to tackle first. <clears throat> Once I'm done with the tree I'm gonna work on its texture. Right now I'm using all the charcoal I laid down and spreading it around uh, because I didn't really want to shade the background with a pencil. I'm just using the existing charcoal to create some value in the back uh, because I, I'm going to want some contrast between the background and the tree because the right side of the tree which is towards the light source is going to be a lot lighter than the other side. So I'm going to need some uh, clean edge there and I'm going to need some contrast in value there. <coughs> now I'm, as you can see I'm using these small circular and irregular motions to suggest the, the, that there are some leaves there. But these aren't really leaves because I believe these are mostly coniferous trees, so these are uh, clusters of needles. They don't look like much right now, but I'm gonna fix their shape um, 
as I go along. The thing about the branches is that I've pretty much uh, achieved the look I want. They look dense and gnarly and twisted, but I'm still going to need to work on them a lot. I'm going to need to draw some highlights and they're going to look a lot better. So I'm just continuing to draw these clusters of needles. My throat usually gets very dry during these commentaries. This time I came more prepared. I have a bottle of water nearby. Drying these knots. Uh, as you can see, I skipped over a part of the footage here. I didn't really intend to do that, but I lost about 15 minutes of footage or so because my camera was out of focus. That's a pity because I wanted to show you how I did this part so I'm just gonna have to explain quickly what happened here. So <clears throat> once I drew the branches and I established some value in the background to create contrast, uh, I drew some highlights on the branches and this is a very important bit because when you draw these highlights, it helps uh, create an illusion that some of them are in front of the others. And that sort of helps us sell it to the viewer. Um, now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to move on to the background. I'm going to draw a whole bunch of trees here. And uh, once I finish with that, I'm going to do these bushes here. And then I'm going to work on the texture of the tree. I may do a separate video on drawing branches because I lost this part of the footage. Now let's move on. I have to fill all of that in with those leaves. Well, not all of it, obviously. They're not very dense. but enough to make it realistic. I'm going to be refining the shapes of these uh, branches here and there a little bit until I'm happy with them, which is probably going to be never, but you know. Uh, there are also some trees here in the background, so I'm just going to use that scribbling motion to lay down some charcoal and then blend it with a brush and then I'm going to suggest the, the, the shape of the tree trunks here as well. There we go. And then I need to put down some darker areas and then erase a little bit, draw some highlights and then add a little more value here and there and then again erase. <clears throat> this part here doesn't have to look uh, very detailed because uh, we're more interested in this tree in the foreground. It's going to be a lot more detailed and have more texture. I just want to suggest the shapes and the outlines of some trees in the back. I do miss being in a forest, especially in the spring. The winter was kind of long, so... Uh, now... I'm going to start drawing some of the other trees, tall trees. The one on the left is closest to us, but these... These are also a part of what you might call 
the foreground, not really, but there will be some trees behind them as well. So here in the middle there is this really tall, tall tree that I'm working on right now and I'm drawing the clusters of needles and branches on it as well. Just with a few simple strokes here and there you can suggest the shape of a tree. And again, because I didn't really want to uh, shade the background using a pencil, I just used the existing charcoal because, you know, when you work with charcoal, there's a ton of residue, so I just used that to my advantage and I spread it around to create some value in the back because I need that to create some contrast with the lighter parts of the tree. The light, like I said, is coming from the right side, right side and the left part of the tree is going to be darker, but the left side is going to be lighter, so it needs to be lighter than the, than the background, than those cliffs in the back. I'm doing the same thing with the trees here that I did on the left side. Laying down that scribbling motion and then blending it in. As you can see I already left the, those white areas where the tree trunks will be. So I need to make it so that the trunk is only visible here and there, but some of it is covered. By foliage or needles, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, I fixed the appearance of the trees to the left a little bit. I wasn't really happy uh, with how they looked. These trees are obviously going to need a little bit more attention because they are closer to us, so we need to put a little bit more detail on them. There is no special technique for this, I think I just scribble a little bit and try to change the direction and the pressure and I let the pencil do the work for me because when you work with a charcoal pencil or any softer pencil, it'll create some shapes and some texture on its own and all you have to do is use that really. But it's not that simple, obviously, you have to try to understand what you're drawing. You, th there needs to be some kind of plan. And as you can see, um, I can also use my tertillion to soften some of these lines so that they're not as jagged. But I can also use it to draw some of those leaves where I don't want them too dark where I don't want the contrast to be too sharp you can see me drawing some highlights with a pencil eraser the pencil eraser can be sharpened like any other pencil so it's very convenient when trying to draw details I mean by negative drawing by erasing and now you can see me drawing highlights on these trees to, in the back, to the right of the big tree. Uh, below the trees here in the middle, there will be some bushes. 
there'll be lots of bushes in the foreground but I'm gonna work on those later first I want to do as much of these trees as possible the quality of the footage varies a little bit as I recorded a part of it uh, on, day, uh, on the, under daylight so the lighting change, it changes a little bit when it gets darker. Now I'm drawing a really big branch here. It has a weird twisted shape. I'm gonna draw a couple uh, I'm, I'm gonna draw a couple of those here. I think it is th those longer twisted branches that make picture really interesting. But also the idea that you're kind of standing under the trees and looking up. And you can see that always uh, near the part where the uh, where, where the branch atta is attached to the rest of the tree trunk I draw a little bit of shadow. So I need to suggest that it is a part of the tree. I can also make a few smaller ones and a few stumps even that seem to have been broken off. Some of them thicker, some of them thinner all in different shapes and directions. Here's another long one. I'm gonna make those clumps or those clusters a little bit bigger then. So I skipped over a part, and now, <clears throat> now I'm gonna work on this tree a little bit more. Let me just uh, say a few words about the light source and. The, the way it affects the appearance of this tree. So the light, like I said, is coming from the right side. That, that part is going to be the lightest. Now, uh, the part in the middle and slightly to the left is going to be the darkest. And then, all the way to the left of the tree trunk is going to be just a tiny bit lighter because we also have a little bit of light coming in from that side. So this part here where I'm working on right now needs to be the darkest. I can occasionally even use a cross hatching motion even though I'm using a charcoal pencil just to add a little bit of value and it won't spoil my texture. If I find that some of these lines are too visible, I can just go over it with a brush a little bit. You can see that I'm really I'm trying to put in a little bit more patience and a little more effort into uh, drawing the texture of the tree this time and also as you can see I'm trying to clean up uh, this edge here because I want to clean uh, I want a clean edge between this lighter area of the tree and the background I want a lot of contrast there this is also a nice touch you can use your eraser to draw some of these lighter areas even in the even in the shaded part of the tree mm. 
you can see how the texture looks a lot better now. A few highlights here and there really add a lot to the realism. Just a touch of eraser here and there. And you can see also that I've cleaned up the edge on the right very nicely. These trees obviously are going, to, are going to be a lot less detailed, but still I need to add some texture and some highlights to them as well. some short bare ones there and again adding a little more value to the background here I started to lay down some charcoal on this lower portion to the left because I wanted to draw these bushes but as you will see later I'll be reworking this area a number of times because I wasn't really happy with it initially so for the time being I just uh, lay down some charcoal with using my usual scribbling motion and suggested some of these darker areas and then I used my brush to soften that a little bit but once I'm done with that I'm gonna move on to the to the area all the way on the right and draw finish the trees over there and that's what I'm doing now I wanted to show you this because this tree here is a little bit uh, darker it's in the shade but pay attention to the type of stroke that I'm using this is very effective when you when you want to draw trees very quickly and this is something I learned how to do when I was a kid uh, when I was reading comic books uh, one of my favorite artists uh, was Galeno Ferri and he had a very simple and very effective way of drawing trees so I tried to copy his style This is even easier to pull with ink and a brush, but I'm trying to copy a similar motion with charcoal and once I start blending and adding some other detail, I think I will achieve a similar effect. Also going to need uh, ref to refine this edge here between those trees in the back. I'm just using my tutorial to suggest the shape of rocks in the back. I'm not trying to make it too detailed. I'm not really too concerned about whether they whether you can see the rocks or not I'm just trying to suggest that you know there is some there are some shapes in the back as well now I worked on this area here a little bit more
this drawing took about four hours, I think, total. So, I think uh, each type of drawing is challenging in its own right. I mean, landscapes, uh, on one hand, it's easier because you don't have to worry about the proportions and the lightness. Uh, like when you're drawing portraits, but at the same time, there's, ton of, there's a ton of other stuff to do. Uh, because these drawings are usually very detailed. Or at least when I try to make a realistic drawing, they are. So I always have to work a lot on the texture and the branches and the leaves and everything. But I think four hours is okay for a fun drawing. And I also like to make a lot of breaks. I think breaks are very important to keep you motivated and well rested. I always suggest that people should take a lot of breaks, whatever it is that they're doing, because it's not very healthy for either your body or your mind uh, to spend a lot of time at doing something at once. So a break, a short break here and there is very beneficial to you. You can see that drew some highlights here on these bushes to the left and they already look pretty good but I'm going to be modifying them later because I changed my mind about how I wanted them to look. You can see that I wanted this area to the right to be darker so I lay down a ton of charcoal here and then I was planning to draw some highlights and suggest the shapes of bushes here in the foreground but I realized that I made it a little bit too dark in comparison to the bushes on the left so initially I started making it lighter by taking away some of the value and drawing some of the highlights but as I progressed I realized that eventually I was going to have to add more value to the area on the left as well. Just a few words on what I'm doing here. I'm drawing some bushes here and I'm drawing some foliage. And you can see that it's starting to look really nice and really realistic. This uh, dark uh, background is allowing me to draw some nice highlights and in order to make it look layered uh, like there are clumps of leaves on top of the others what you need to do is vary uh, you need to try to vary your pressure because when I want to draw those that are receiving a little bit of light I just press a little less when I want to draw those that are really light, that light is hitting them from above, I just press a little harder and I harder and I erase completely, or as much as I can remove obviously because I, I can't make it completely white, but I can still create a lot of contrast. I threw in a few blades of grass here and there and I try to vary the size of those leaves so that some of them are larger than the others especially those that are closer to us and now I'm finishing this portion here I think it looks pretty good thick bushes so as you can see now I decided to add more value to the area on the left as well because it just seemed like the bushes on the right were too dark the drawing didn't seem very balanced so I just repeated the process here to a certain extent 
I laid down uh, some charcoal, created these darker areas, and then just drew some highlights, uh, keeping in mind the fact that I need to make them a little bit lighter on the right side and a little bit darker to the left. So I'm kind of using the same thing uh, with my pencil eraser that I would do with a normal pencil, varying uh, the size and the direction of my strokes to draw this foliage and I also added a little bit more charcoal to the left of the tree near the bottom of the tree so I can suggest that there is some shadow there but you can see how detailed this looks and it really didn't take that long I added some darker foliage here because they are behind that tree so they are in the shadow to make them darker. This is a very important bit. If we want to stay consistent with the light source. Although I wanted the bushes to look a little darker and the trees to be getting white from the above. I made this area in the middle a little bit lighter. decide where to sign it because <laughs> there's so much detail everywhere so I'm just gonna squeeze in my signature there the drawing is finished I just wanted to zoom in a little bit to show you some of the detail Thanks for watching.